Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool freeze frame transition. Now, I've made like four or five videos on different um, freeze frame transitions, but in this video, I want to go over or cover the very basics of a freeze frame transition right here. So, you can see right here, you have two videos or two clips. You have the first clip right here, and then all of a sudden, uh, part of the second video pops up on the screen for about 10 frames and then there you go you transition into the second clip right here so I'm just gonna go over how to create this very basic um, effect and of course you can watch some of my other freeze frame um, videos or different effects so you can kind of spice it up a little bit but in this video I just want to go over the very very um, basics of how to create this freeze frame effect because I'm sure there are tons of people that probably don't even know the, how to create even like the basic freeze frame effects instead of coming and instead of making tons of videos about like super advanced effects i thought why not just make a very simple um uh, tutorial on kind of the very basics of a freeze frame effect now these freeze frame effects probably aren't very common in like sports videos they're a lot more common in music videos but of course you can still use this for any type of video you want so you can see right here we have two clips right here we have the first clip right here and then we have the second clip i mean it looks perfectly fine there's nothing special going on it's just like a jump cut to the next shot right here but what if you want to add like a really cool freeze frame so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the second clip right here and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the very first frame you're going to put your playhead on the very very first frame of the second clip now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the retime option, click on hold right here. So remember, you're just freezing the first frame of the second clip. Now you're going to go over, scroll over, and the this part, this orange part is the freeze frame, and this green part is the normal video right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go frame by frame, and you want to cut it right in between the normal speed and the freeze frame right there. So you can see right here, here's the freeze frame, and then here is the normal clip right here. You do not want the normal clip on top of the first video right here okay so let's go over here and now what you're going to do is you're going to take the freeze frame effect and basically what you're going to do is you're going to make it to be about 10 frames i think 10 frames is probably pretty much universally accepted uh, when it comes to freeze frame transitions uh, like three four five doesn't really hold for that long um, but let's go ahead as you can see right here you don't want any of that green you only want the orange because the orange is the freeze frame right there so as you can see right there there we go now this is being held for 10 frames right here so let's go ahead and play the effect right here and this is what it looks like right here there we go you basically have the first frame of the second clip frozen and there you go so to kind of go over it again let's go like this so let's go so ready so i'll go like this so we'll go the freeze frame so we'll go one so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then there you go so as you can see right here the first frame and the second clip this is this uh freeze frame is a frozen frame the first frozen frame of uh the second clip right here so little as you can see right here nothing changes nothing changes and then we'll go to the first frame and then all of a sudden the start changes but if we go to the beginning go back nothing happens as you can see the first frame of the second clip and this freeze frame are the exact same frame and then there you go you go into the next clip right here now what you're going to do next is now comes the fun part of a draw mask you can't do this just in case you were wondering you can't do this um, without a draw mask it is uh, literally impossible so yes if you've never done masking masking before this may be your first time um, trying a draw mask don't worry it's not as scary as maybe some people may think it is it's definitely very time consuming and if you've never done it before it uh, creating a draw mask is no doubt very daunting if you've never um, uh, made a draw mask before so I'm just gonna do one of the worst selections you've ever seen probably ever uh, to get the basics of it so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out the subject right here now you may ask yourself okay what happens if I can't see the rest of the person what you're gonna do is you're gonna go out to 50% and then you're gonna cut outside the video right here and then we're gonna start back in so just in case if your subject goes outside the video 
or is cut off you want to go outside um, of the frame or the video right here so let's go ahead and let's zoom in 150 200 is pretty good of course adjust that if necessary right there um, let's go ahead and apply it right here again this is a really 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 bad um, draw mask but you get the general idea of how to create this right here so again if the body is cut off you're gonna go ahead go to 50% um, right here and we're just gonna continue on um, with the draw mask right here again it's definitely very daunting if you've never done a draw mask before but you'll get used to it after a while so once you have the subject cut out right here what you can do is you can mess with the feather right here or you can make it look like that basically what the feathering does um, and the fall off it basically what it does is it it helps smooth out the edges so if you have really sharp edges you can kind of feather it in or feather it out it basically just helps make the edges look a lot smoother and quite frankly that's literally it that's all you have to do to create um, this really cool freeze frame effect right here so let's go ahead and play the video right here so as you can see right there there you go you have created a very simple and very easy freeze frame effect right there that's literally all it takes and of course you can add a whole bunch of things I've done like a panning freeze frame a pop in freeze frame a sliding freeze frame a glowing freeze frame there are a whole bunch of different things you can do with this freeze frame effect right here but that's literally the basics of how to create a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro 10 so again all you need is two clips you go to the first frame of your second clip go to the freeze frame you want to, and then you cut up the video and then you place the freeze frame on top of the first video you want to make sure it's about 10 frames long then you would take a draw mask and you just take the draw mask and cut out the person right here no draw mask and there you go all you gotta do is just put the draw mask um, around the person that's pretty much as simple as it is and then of course you can adjust the feather and fall off um, if you want but that at its core is the very basics um, of a freeze frame transition so yes it does require a draw mask if you've never done a draw mask before again it's very daunting and it can definitely take a long time to get rid of the first time i tried to use a draw mask was not very good so don't worry it takes a lot it takes a lot of time and takes a lot of practice to start getting really good at it. obviously i'm not perfect at, a draw, at, cut, at cutouts yet but i've definitely become I definitely got a lot better than when i first used draw mask so don't worry it's very daunting takes a long time but eventually you'll get used to it and you'll probably really enjoy using a draw mask it's definitely a lot of fun once you understand the basics if you want to watch a whole bunch i made a whole bunch of other videos on freeze frames so if you want to watch it and get a little more advanced with um of your freeze frame transitions uh, a couple of the big ones that i made are the like i said before the sliding one the popping panning and freezing are, so, are four of the biggest ones i've made so definitely go ahead and check them out if you want to get a little more advanced anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.